So let me just uh, give you a scenario. Let's say you are looking for a TransUnion credit card and uh, you have fair or bad credit and you're looking for a high limit credit card. And sometimes you apply, you get denied. Sometimes you apply, you get approved. In today's conversation, I will give you some hacks that will make it very easy for you to be approved whenever you apply for a TransUnion credit card. Okay. So here are the steps I want you to follow right now. If you are in, in the market right now and uh, you happen to have a very high TransUnion credit score, and you want to actually uh, leverage that credit score to get a high limit credit card the first thing you need to do is not applying for too many credit cards at once okay boss i'm talking to you right now because yeah, i mean you're probably just like yeah you know i can apply for this card or, or that card no the thing is that you want to zero in on the specific cards that you that you want the card that you believe you can actually get the thing is that when you when we talk about transunion credit cards we are speaking about credit cards from banks and credit unions that pull personal transunion okay and uh, so it's, it's all about you being very strategic about the car that you want you have about 10 institutions 10 major institutions i'll give you the name the, the list later on but there are 10 major institutions that pull transunion and it's all about trying to filter out the quote-unquote noise so you can fo you can focus on two or three Okay, and that's really what the sweet spot is that you want to have two or three credit cards that you want to focus on and you want to try your best to be pre-approved first. So what are the, the TransUnion credit card issuers? You have U.S. Bank. You have Regions Bank. You have Huntington Bank. You have Capital One. You have Fifth Third Bank. You have Navy Fed, Navy Federal Credit Union. You have Connexus Credit Union. You have Consumers Credit Union. You have Alliance. You have teachers FCU. The thing is, I know I, I probably people will, will be putting in the comment section. Yeah, you know, Capital One does not pull TransUnion or U.S. Bank does not pull TransUnion. This list as sort of uh, captures the primary credit, uh, the primary credit reporting agencies that those institutions capture. What I'm trying to say here is that U.S. Bank does pull TransUnion primarily, primarily. So if, if you're listening to me right now and U.S. Bank in your state has pulled Equifax or Experian on you, it doesn't negate the fact that primarily they actually pull TransUnion. Very important to remember that. Same thing for Regents, Huntington, Capital One. They do have flexibility. Sometimes those institutions, they'll, they'll pull uh, other uh, credit bureaus, okay? But primarily, they pull TransUnion. So let me repeat the list. U.S. Bank, Regents Bank, Huntington Bank, Capital One, Fifth Third Bank, Navy Fed, Connexus, Consumers Credit Union, Aligned, and Teachers FCU. So the second thing I want you to do here is you got to know what's in your credit reports. Remember, I'm, I'm using the credit reports here, plural. I'm not using singular here. So you have to actually check not only your TransUnion credit score, but you got to check your Equifax credit score and also your, your experience. Why? Well, we're having a conversation about TransUnion credit card. But you know what? There is a correlation between your TransUnion credit score and your Equifax and Experian credit score. For example, I mean, you know, the, the, those numbers are not the same, but they should be within the same bandwidth, what we call the same numerical bandwidth. What I'm trying to say is if your TransUnion score is maybe 700, your Equifax can be around 675 and your uh, experience should be around 680. So you have a, a bandwidth, what we call the range is reasonable. Now, there is a problem if your TransUnion is 700 and your Equifax is 550 and your experience is, uh, I'll say, 610. See, the gap here is too big. The chasm is too big. This is why you want to actually uh, verify all those three credit reports and scores. By the way, boss, Welcome back to the show. I just totally forgot to uh, welcome you to the show. It's just a pleasure to have you here. We're having a quick convo about TransUnion credit card, high limit, fast approval, bad or, fair, or bad or fair credit. How do you get it the first time around? We're not talking about you applying for this credit card several times. No, the very first time when you apply, how do you get it? Step number one, be very strategic on the cards that you actually uh, target. Do not apply for too many cars at once. Step number two, you want to know what's in your credit reports. I'm talking about all the three credit reports, okay? And it's really important to be clear about that. Step number three. Step number three, you want to apply for credit cards that fit your credit score. 
okay you have bad or fair credit you hit you are around six you are between six and six and 670 look for credit cards that actually uh, will uh, be amenable to you do not apply do not apply for credit cards that you know are just are, are just uh, you know too high for you i mean the expectation is, is, is too high right it's all about making sure that you apply with you apply for credit cards that are in sync with your credit bandwidth very important so and we have actually uh, several uh, videos on our sh on, on this channel that talk about credit unions transunion transunion credit cards for fair or bad credit step number four you want to pay your bills on time boss by the way i want to quickly remind you of today's topic we're having a conversation about personal credit cards from transunion that pulls transunion no personal credit cards that pull transunion how do you get one a high limit real fast the first time around not two or three times no you want to get the first time around what you want to do here is you want to actually pay your bills on time why there is a strong correlation again between your payment history okay your, your past payment history and your future payment history in other words transunion credit card providers are, are looking at your uh, your credit worthiness and they're, they're looking at your payment patterns to sort of determine how you will actually uh, repay whatever charges you put on the credit cards in the future okay and this is really important I mean as a matter of fact there was a uh, an article not long ago in the uh, the Chicago Tribune that w was actually talking about how how lenders were paying more attention now to uh, payment patterns in other words do you pay your bills on time not just on time do you pay them all the time and do you pay the full balance or do you keep a certain balance so lenders and credit card providers are checking those things too according to the chicago tribune okay it's all about going granular it's all about making sure that they're they're pretty clear that you have the 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 budget to repay whatever you charge on the card where you to be approved so money 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 boss money 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 boss do you currently have a system to actually uh, repay your bills, the bills that you charge on any credit cards for that matter? Not just the TransUnion credit cards, but also your Experian credit cards or your Equifax credit cards. Do you have the cash? Talk to me about that, boss. Do you have the cash? To, so what kind of system do you have? What kind of system do you have in place? And um, let me give you also a bonus approach. Here is a bonus approach. What you want to do is you want to automate everything. If you want to repay, if you want to pay your bills on time all the time, please automate everything okay you want to have uh, automatic reminders you want to have uh, automatic transfers from your checking accounts or savings account and uh, so those should be paying your credit card bills systematically and reflexively very important another thing i want you to do if you want to be approved uh, asap the first time you are, you apply for a this kind of uh, transunion credit cards is to constantly pay attention to your credit utilization boss okay dad i know i know you're probably thinking well i'm looking at my credit utilization all the time you're not you're not you know why because if you were you would be having an excel spreadsheet where you were paying you where you were putting uh, every month every month your cur yeah that's how people play the game that's i'm just telling i'm giving you i'm just spilling all the beans into this conversation so you start thinking about the best way for you to track your cur for the best way to actually uh, improve your chances of getting a transunion credit card r r the first time you apply you need to track your cur and you want to keep that cur really low okay and uh, i know in the past we used to say well you know keep it around 33 percent but now we are just saying listen you want to keep it as low as low as possible okay 20 percent, 10 percent, whatever whatever fits your budget do that boss okay it has to fit your budget though it has to fit your budget and so, so because lenders will look at your credit utilization ratio they will look at your utilization ratio to actually see whether or not you are um, a high risk or low risk credit card credit card credit card let me ask you a question boss where are you at right now in terms of cur what's your cur boss sis are you there bro are you there what is what is your cur right now where are you at 35 percent 25 percent 10 percent talk to me about your cur right now and the thing here is that depending on where you are at i have a few pro tips for you and my pro, my my tip number one is I just I think I just said it. You want to track your CUR, okay? You want to have an Excel spreadsheet or you want to have an app that basically it takes about five. It takes one one or two minutes, 
nothing complicated. I'm not trying to ask you to do like something a complicated calculus or okay? complicated calculation here. No, you just want to have. Listen, what is my outstanding balance? What kind of a credit limit do I have in total? And just do the the division. Divide your outstanding outstanding balance by I mean or over the total limits that will tell you how much you have and, and see you are if it's 30 and you just want to you just want to track this number month over month over month okay this is really important this is how you uh, gradually establish a, a pattern of uh, responsibility and accountability so you are able to know exactly how much you're spending and on what you're spending okay it's not just about how much you have in terms of CUR it's about the, the, the progress of that particular metric over several quarters not even months. We're talking here about quarters, okay, boss. This is this is how you actually play the game, and this is how you can actually uh, uh, buttress. You can solidify. You can strengthen your ability to be uh, to be approved the next time you apply for a TransUnion credit card with fair or bad credit. It doesn't matter. Fair or bad credit. It doesn't matter. You can still be approved. <music> The next thing I want you to do here, boss, if you want to uh, get that credit card is to, by the way, the, the topic is how do you get a TransUnion personal credit cards with bad or fair credit? What you want to do is you want to think about diversity, okay? When you think of, I mean, diversity is kind of cool in general. And uh, so if, if we, if I were to uh, refer to the proverbial, not to the, proverb, the pro proverbial, uh, don't put all your eggs in the same basket, same thing here. Okay, you want to create a diverse range of credit because the whole thing here is that your TransUnion credit card providers are looking at diversity in your credit file to actually uh, see if you are a strong a strong candidate for their TransUnion credit card. Okay, you want to have a mix of credit history. Okay, and see the thing is what I'm saying when I'm talking about having a mix of credit history, I'm just talking to you about having a having a a, a constellation of uh, cars loans loans and credit and whatnot okay and so the more the more diverse your credit portfolio is the better because the, when you have this sort of profile you are very appealing to to uh, to a lender you are a very good borrower you are a borrower with potential because to a, to a lender you have actually proven that you can handle all kinds of credit transactions okay so big decision time post big decision time let me ask you a question currently is your credit portfolio diverse? So besides credit cards, do you have other credit products that are open? Do you have other trade lines? Okay. How diverse are you? Are you just like so concentrated on the credit cards? You haven't gotten the chance to do anything else. If you haven't gotten the chance to do anything else, I want you right now to, to, uh, to try to get at least a loan. You can even get a secure loan. You don't have to get a loan just to uh, put yourself in debt. No, just get a secure loan, and uh, so that's that's kind of fun. You want to start diversifying your your credit your credit uh, profile. Very important. Okay. So here is the approach when it, when you want to uh, diversify things around. You want to have at least a credit card. You want to have a, a line of credit. You want to have a loan. Okay. And in some cases, you can also get like a, a payday loan. Okay. Payday loan. Get a get. A payday loan from a credit union. That way you save money, okay? Don't get a payday loan from like uh, all those uh, predatory uh, lenders out there who are just going to suck your money for nothing. No. The next thing I want you to do, boss, is to really uh, consider a secured card to build credit history. This is what I just said in terms of diversifying, right? So consider a secured card to build credit history. Why? Because... I mean, you probably listen to me right now. You probably have, if you have bad credit and you are thinking about not just building credit history, but you are trying to rebuild history, uh, to rebuild credit, right? So we're not talking about just building credit. We are talking about rebuilding credit. So how do you do it? Well, if you, if you have a very, uh, if your credit score and reports and uh, credit history in general is like so damaged, so decimated, it's going to be very, you're going to have a hard time qualifying for a regular credit card, right? So why don't you just go for a secure credit card? I mean, this is, see, the thing is, when we talk about secure credit card, people are like, yeah, you know, I'm out of here. My ass is out of here, whatever. I, I'm not interested in that kind of card anyway. Well, but boss, you, you got to start somewhere, okay? Whether you have bad credit or a thin credit history, 
you better start somewhere. You can't. You, you see, you haven't proven yourself that you are that, that you can qualify for the uh, for the for the for the premium credit cards. So you know, this kind of funny. So I want you to drop. I want you to quit that cocky ass you know attitude that says you know even though I have a bad credit or I have no credit, I still could, could qualify for the Chase the Chase uh, one of Chase's um, one of Chase's or Bank of America's uh, premium credit cards. No. No, you need to start somewhere and build and build yourself up, okay? And you can also try to find a co-signer. Yeah. I mean, at this point, the conversation we're having is that if things are complicated, you want to actually request as much uh, help that you, as you can from various sources. Don't limit yourself. Do not limit yourself. This will be a, a bad deal for you. That will be a bad decision. So find a co-signer. Okay, find a co-signer. As a matter of fact, you can also try to to, uh, to add yourself as an authorized user on somebody else's credit card. So anything that works, anything that works to kind of help you, to kind of help you get your trains union, personal credit cards with bad or fair credit, do it. Okay, it, it, there are things you have to do before the application process starts, and there are things you have to do afterwards. Okay, so you have to constantly think about your strategy. And my point is, you got to have a strategy. If you don't have a plan, then you are then you are planning to fail. Okay, if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. So have a plan. Another thing I want to say here, number nine, you need to start building credit early. You know the thing is that, and when we talk about building credit, it, it, it's all about making sure that you can qualify for a transunion personal credit cards with bad or fair credit especially if you have bad or fair credit you need to start building credit early and you don't have to uh, have you don't have to apply for a traditional loan necessarily no you can actually uh, I mean if you are with a credit union for example there's something called shared loan shared secure loans which are essentially uh, secure loans that are collateralized by your own money and you can use those to build credit you can use those to add 25 to 50, 50, uh, 50 points to your score. We have actually covered this on another show. So if you're interested in this part of the conversation, you might be, uh, you might want to, you know, talk, you might want to uh, reach out to us and we'll just share this with you. And uh, another thing you can do, and that's the last thing here is that if you want to uh, get a, a TransUnion credit card with fair or bad credit, you need to apply at your bank or credit union. Not just any kind of bank or credit union. You need to apply at the bank where you currently have your direct deposit. That way, you they, they can actually uh, have an image. They can have a picture, a financial picture about your uh, you, even before you you apply. Okay, so this is this is going to help you. Uh, this is will help boost your chances of approval. Okay, remember, I just want to remind you of. Uh, I think I gave you that na- that uh, this list at the beginning of the show, but I want to give it to you again. So when we talk about TransUnion credit cards, here are the TransUnion credit card providers. We have uh, U.S. Bank, we have Regions Bank, we have Huntington Bank, we have Capital One, we have Fifth Third Bank, we have a Navy Federal, we have a Connexus, we have, we have Consumers Credit Union, we have a uh, Alliance, we have. Cr- teachers fcu this is really really important this will help you this will help you get the the level of uh the level of uh familiarity that you are looking for if you're looking for a transunion credit credit card with the high limits ideally with the high limits but one thing i also want to say here is that you have to constantly see whether or not those customers they do um like if they if they actually uh it, not customers, those banks. So when you reach out to them, make sure you go to a branch so you can speak to a customer service and have a conversation with a live person. Okay, don't just uh, focus on having a conversation over the phone. Sometimes it's just a lot better to speak to someone who actually uh, deals on a daily basis with uh, daily funding. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. today's conversation. I was just talking to you about personal credit cards from TransUnion. How do you get one? So I speak. I spoke about not applying for too many cards at once, knowing what's in your credit report, applying for cards that fit your credit score, paying your bill on time, okay, your bills on time, and uh, watching your credit utilization, okay, and creating a diverse range of credit, considering a secure, uh, 
I would, yeah, secure card to build credit history. This could be a good opportunity. You can find a co-signer. You can build credit credit early, or you can apply at, at your bank. You can apply at your bank or credit union. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.